Dr. Stefan Siebert of Glasgow discussed some very exciting developments in the field of rheumatology. Could you summarise for us what your messages have been to the conference? So we live in a, a quite an exciting time in inflammatory arthritis where we're getting an increased armamentum of targeted therapies. And what we're finding is what worked for one disease doesn't work for another one. And the traditional drugs we've always used in rheumatoid arthritis don't all work as well in psoriatic arthritis and ankylosing spondylitis. But now we've got really exciting targeted therapies that can make a real difference to patients' lives. Why are they needed? Uh, they need it. Well, first of all, they've come about because we understand the, the science behind these diseases far better and we're able to, to target the key molecules. And they need it because our previous therapies, patients improved, but it was always partial response. Many patients didn't respond at all. Many patients couldn't tolerate the drugs or had side effects. So we need better targeted therapies that are also safe and can be used in a range of environments. These new therapies have come about because of our understanding of the IL-23 and IL-17 pathways. And these are the key pathways in psoriasis, psoriatic arthritis, and ankylosing spondylitis. And now we've got a range of monoclonal antibodies that target these key cytokines and make a real difference, not just in the joints, but also in the other areas of inflammation in the tendons and the skin and the back. So therefore making all the aspects of the patient's disease is far better. And here in South Africa, do they offer specific potential? So these therapies are all immune modulating therapies and they have to be used in caution and, and side effects around infection are always a big concern for us. But unlike the previous TNF inhibitors where we know they were integrally involved in the TB um, pathways, these seem to be safe in the setting of TB. We still need more data, but the data to date, so far is very encouraging that these are far safer and also what we understand about these molecules, they should be safer in the setting of TB, which should hopefully allow them to be used in the setting more easily, but still with caution. So could you profile for us the patients, specific patient types in which this would be used? Yes, that's correct. These are potent and quite expensive therapies as well. So they really are reserved for the patients that haven't responded to our standard drugs. And fortunately, many patients do respond and, and they do very well on those. But the, the, the patients that don't respond, their quality of life and their outcomes are very poor. And having these new options to treat patients is, is a real opportunity. And so it really is for the most severe patients with the disease that has been quite resistant. So it really is a step forward in that sense. And if we were having this conversation in 10 years time, how would you see the field having progressed? In future, we'll have biomarkers that can predict which patients should get which drug, which dr drug is safe for them and which drug is effective for them. That's my hope for the future.